We know over 3,600 snake species so far. The king cobra, on the other hand, is the only one of its kind that can be termed odd. What went wrong? Let's see what we can find out. The king cobra is a particularly rare snake species. While the majority of snakes pursue mammals, insects, lizards, frogs, and even fish, this one has selected the strangest and most terrifying food. It feeds on its own species. It doesn't even choose something that can't crawl away in time. On land, the cobra travels at a speed of around 3 miles per hour. It also swims nicely. And here's what a beauty rat snake is known for. It has black and yellow scales and appears like a snake. Look at how the snake seems to hypnotize its prey. Then there's a powerful toss. It only takes a few seconds for the poor rat snake to give up. The only thing left for it to do is swallow its prey. This is done by the cobra without chewing in one piece. It can even eat a species that is many times the size of its head thanks to its flexible jaws. Offer a large mac to a king cobra. It will gobble it whole without blinking. Is it true that snakes can even blink? The other item on the cobra's menu is as follows. The black rat snake is a snake that looks like a rat. It's thinner and grayer. That, however, is irrelevant. The cobra will devour it anyway, slowly and happily, without even waiting for the poison to take effect. The victim, as you can see, continues to wiggle. Despite the fact that the snake has began to devour it, it is literally eating it alive. It's impossible to flee the king cobra. It will discover its prey no matter where it hides, including underground, if it starts hunting. A cobra is seen climbing into a burrow to eat a spectacle snake. How did it know someone was down there? According to some studies, one gram of dried venom can kill 140 medium-sized dogs. What does the king cobra have to say about it? Yes, it is correct. It doesn't seem to mind. We discovered that you can't hide from an underground. Perhaps you could take refuge in the water. King Cobras are excellent swimmers and will readily enter the water to capture another spectacle snake. When it comes to Cobras, they always get what they want. These snakes are so dangerous that even elephants are scared of them. And don't believe that anything, even harmless mice, can frighten them. Elephants dislike mice because they are little and swift. It's a different story when it comes to King Cobras. An adult elephant can be killed by just one lethal bite. I believe elephants are aware of this and who wants to face a beast capable of killing you without breaking a sweat. But what makes King Cobra so deadly? Nature simply decided one day to create a species that terrifies the rest of the world. To get to the bottom of this, we must first establish a few facts. Poison resistance is seen in a number of animal species on our planet. Mongooses are one of them. Hedgehogs, skunks, possums, and of course, honey badgers are all there because they're all snake hunters, and they evolved to be able to withstand lethal bites. Hedgehogs, for example, have a lesser immunity. At the same time, honey badgers are true animal monsters capable of killing and consuming any snake at the same time. There are more cases that aren't so evident. Certain CEO, for example, are immune to sea snake bites, while gophers in some parts of California can withstand an adder bite. King Cobras receive some gifts from evolution as well. Their venom isn't the most lethal on the planet, and Cobras haven't evolved to become more venomous. That didn't stop them from joining the rest of the venomous snakes in an arms race. This is the most venom the snake has ever generated. One bite from a King Cobra can kill 20 people in a matter of minutes, or an elephant in a matter of hours. The king cobra's venom damages the brain's respiratory centers, resulting in respiratory arrest and heart failure. That isn't all, though. It's no coincidence that I listed poison-resistant species. It may sound unusual, but the king cobra is immune to them as well. It's the world's largest venomous snake, and it's fully immune to the venom of the snakes it prefers to eat. So, what have we got? A massive deadly snake that is immune to poison. It sounds like someone's worst nightmare. It's no surprise that king cobras are deadly predators, specifically for the purpose of killing snakes, which mercifully do not prey on humans or elephants. King cobras, it seemed to me, are ready to attack at any time, even quickly after birth. Yes, you're correct. These snakes don't take long to start killing their own kind. They'll get food if they're hungry. What exactly is it? As a starter, 
thank you very much. I'd like to express my gratitude to the chef. However, it is rare for someone to strike it rich all of the time. Even if the person in question is a king cobra, he or she appears to be having a bad day. It was just a few days old when it was devoured by a saltwater crocodile. What about the other creatures who share cobra's territory? I'm not going to say anything about mongooses, monkeys, or birds. Let's take a look at some of the most dangerous predators. The Bengal tiger is a big cat that lives in Bengal that elicits admiration. The king cobras are unconcerned. Big cats usually strive to avoid these snakes in order to avoid being bitten by their lethal bite. However, a king cobra has been discovered in the stomach of a dead tiger in the past. What was the cause of the tiger's death? That's correct, poison. The Philippine cobra is one of the many venomous snakes that dwell in the Philippines, and king cobra is appropriately afraid of it because it's on its menu. You'll know which snake to bet on if you witness these two snakes fighting. Komodo dragon is a modern-day dragon that is almost certainly venomous. They don't normally cross paths, but if they did, I doubt the snake would have been able to bite through its thick skin. The Eurasian brown bear is a species of bear native to Europe and Asia. Well, there's no way. It's smaller than an elephant, therefore, if it irritates the king cobra, it'll probably die after one bite. I'm sure you're thinking something along those lines. What happens if two cobras from the same family start fighting? Scientists have discovered that if mating does not go as planned, the female may kill the male. When a male kills a female, it is not uncommon. However, real snake fights do take place. No, not even genuine jousting. Male king cobras begin to travel in quest of a mate at a specific age, according to snake etiquette, and sometimes instead of a female, they encounter other guys. In any case, if such a meeting occurs, they engage in a duel in which neither party bites the other. The males swirl around each other, attempting to pin the opponent to the ground. This conduct is frequently misconstrued with courting, despite the fact that it is a classic wrestling match with ambiguous rules. Who, after all, could explain them? Cobras aren't particularly chatty creatures. You can, however, obtain some information without speaking with the snake. There will be no conversation. Harry, as I already stated. In the snake world, King Cobra has at least one opponent who can match its strength. That's all there is to Python. Yes, their squabbles could wind up looking like this. Make an attempt to figure out who won. Everything appears to be determined by speed. If King Cobra bites its opponent in the skull, it will almost certainly die. The python, on the other hand, can take on the King Cobra right away by squeezing it in its final hug. There's nothing surprising about this. According to studies, the average python applies roughly 300 mercury per square inch to its victim, which is just about PS6. That's not much when you think about it. A python, on the other hand, does not need to crush its victim at all until it suffocates to the point when its internal organs are irreparably damaged, and it happens in a flash. It's incredible how strong it is. Despite this, the population of kin cobras is not fast diminishing due to pythons. They aren't monkeys who go around annihilating other species. However, between 1935 and 2010, the number of king cobras decreased by 30%. Try to figure out who or what caused it. Deforestation is, indeed, to blame. King cobras prefer to reside in areas with a lot of trees, and when there aren't as many, they start looking for a new place to live. And do you know where they go when they crawl? Ken cobras, on the other hand, try to keep away from people. We're not on the menu, and we're also a threat. Unpleasant encounters with snakes have become more common in recent years. By the way, scientists have no idea how many king cobras there are in the globe, but if deforestation continues, we'll soon find out, and we'll probably come to know them far closer than we'd like. I won't mention anything about the environment or anything, but think about it. Would you be excited to meet one? I can't speak for everyone, but I'd prefer to keep as far away as possible from the king cobras, preferably on a different continent. There is, however, a site where these snakes are not only adored, but also purposefully bred. Welcome to Thailand's Snake Village. For decades, the locals have been raising and taming king cobras. They do it to attract enormous crowds of tourists who come to see the odd creatures. However, it has suddenly become quite difficult to obtain pet food. 
You probably already know why, but it doesn't stop the locals from partaking in a rather unusual type of amusement. With a king cobra in the ring, what kind of person would think of such a thing? It's no surprise that nearly everyone in this hamlet has lost something. At the very least, it's a finger, of course. Of course, it's a shame, but it's a little price to pay for defeating one of the world's most venomous snakes. Don't try this again, just in case. Keep an eye on your fingers, and I'll see you later.